Hey everyone, Doug at Convology here. Today we're looking at a plugin called Formidable Forms, which allows you to create embeddable forms using uh, a form processor right on your WordPress website. Today we're going to look at a couple of things, what Formidable Forms can do and why I think it's better than the other form processors out there, and how you can integrate it with Thrive Leads and Thrive Architect, uh, because that's what this site's all about, teaching you how to use conversion tools, great ones like the Thrive Theme Suite, and how to get the most out of your WordPress website. So let's jump right in and go ahead and look at Formidable today. So you can get the Formidable plugin here, right from the WordPress plugin repository. It's completely free, and as you can see, it has 200,000 plus active installations. It's reviewed very well. I personally use this on over, gosh, uh, probably 50 of my websites right now. Uh, it's my current go-to form processor. I like it more than Gravity Forms. I like it more than WP Forms. I like it a lot more than Ninja Forms. There's just a lot that you can do for free with this plugin, and it integrates so cleanly with everything else. So once you get that installed and activated, on the left-hand side, you'll see it within your WordPress admin, simply called Formidable. Uh, and you can click on that, or you can hover over it and go to Forms. If you're using the free version, it'll be light. Um, you kind of have the basic settings here. Entries will show you um, all of the entries in the database. Styles will let you update all of the uh, look and feel of the CSS without having to know any CSS. You can import and export. There's some global settings. We'll go, go over uh, some of this here in the video. Um, so first let's go ahead and look at what it's like to create a form using formable forms. So here, this is the one I use on Convology.com. Uh, if you want to schedule a Thrive consultation, I created this form that lets somebody enter in their information, kind of tell me about themselves, choose from some drop downs, and send that form. Now the difference between uh, something like Formidable and Thrive Leads is that when someone fills out a Formidable form, like any form processor, they're expecting that one-on-one -on -one communication. They're expecting an exchange of information that's more personal than Thrive Leads would facilitate. Thrive Leads is a lead gen or lead capture uh, facilitator. It basically allows anybody to sign up for a newsletter or to download a lead magnet. Um, whereas this is much more personal. So that's why I use something like Formidable and I integrate it with Thrive. So real quick here, this is how you use it. On the right hand side, you can simply uh, drag in any element that you want or you can click on it and it'll jump right in here. You can delete it very easily. You can click on the element to get more options. You can edit the field label, the placeholder text, you have field settings such as um, some complicated stuff here like field key. That's if you do more complicated integrations, you don't need to worry about that. The CSS layout class is very interesting because this allows you to customize how the form is laid out. If I preview the form, let's preview it on a blank page here. You'll see that I have the name on the left and the email on the right. That was accomplished by simply coming in here. Let me clear out what I have. Clicking in the CSS classes. And on the right hand side, you'll see these sections, right? So I want it to be on the left, but I want it to be the first column on the left. So I'll click the button first, and I want it to take up half the space, so I'll click on the half. So by clicking on first and half, it's now the first half column. If I go to my email, I can now click on there, and okay, all I have to do is now click the half. And now the email is the right half. So I just repeat that process for all of the, the previewed forms here, and I can put the name on the left, the email on the right, website on the left, my question on the right, and then if I just want the uh, how can I help you section to take up everything, all you have to do is simply leave that blank. Now, one of the things I love about this plugin is the placeholder text. So for example, um, as you can see on this, I don't use any field labels, I've hidden them but I have a nice placeholder text and when someone clicks into it and starts typing, it disappears. I've also set it so that someone cannot leave it blank. To do that, you just simply click into the field, type what you want, and on the right hand side here, you want to change these so that it says the default value, which is your name, will not pass form validation. That means it won't let someone submit it with your name as the option. To the right of that, this button, you want it to say clear default value when typing. That's so that someone can click their mouse in there and just start typing away. Now to hide the field labels, really simple. You just come down here where it says label position. You can have it be on top of the field, to the left, to the right, or in line. I just simply said none because I, I typically don't like the field labels. I like it to be cleaner. 
You can also do required fields by simply clicking on the asterisk to the left of the field label. That's really all there is to it. As you can see here on the right, you can do things like radio, checkboxes, dropdowns. You can add custom HTML. Uh, you can add, if you get the Pro version, which I don't have installed, but I love. I use it for some of my clients' websites. The Pro version lets you do things like sliders and scales and toggles and stars. Essentially, this is the most powerful form processor I've seen for how simple it is to use. You can even get e-signatures and process credit cards and create quizzes. It, it's an awesome plugin if you want to pay for the Pro version. It's not cheap, but I think it's definitely worth the money if you have a project that needs these tools. One of the things I do love about it is the reCAPTCHA. It's included in the free version. I know for whatever reason, some form processors require you to pay for this feature, which I think is stupid. Um, but to do that, all you have to do is go into your global settings and add your keys. It's that easy. Let's look real quick at the style section. It is one of the things that I think sets Formidable apart. A lot of the plugins like Contact Form 7, which by the way, I don't know why that's so popular. I hate Contact Form 7. but it's so hard to stylize, right? Like Contact Form 7 looks ugly out of the box and you have to have either a theme that has custom styles for it or make them on your own. But what if you don't know CSS? It's super easy to use the style editor here in Formidable. You can edit everything from um, what the form title will look like. Uh, you can edit, for example, if we wanted to change the button. I've customized it for my brand, but let's say I wanted that button to be, I don't know, like green. Well, all you do is you change it to green. And if I wanted that text color to be blue, all well, it changes to blue or red. It's super easy to update. If you can add a border to the button, a thickness. You could even just simply have your button be an image if you created your own nice looking button. So everything is stylized completely on the back end so that you don't have to worry about knowing CSS to edit the front. So now let's look at how we can take a formidable form and implement it into something like Thrive Architect or Thrive Leads. So here we have my convology.com homepage. And here's a formidable form that I've embedded right here. Now editing this is really, really easy. Um, I've turned this into a symbol, so I would just simply edit as a symbol. Um, but this is really just a WordPress element. So on the right hand side here, you just search for WordPress. You drag a WordPress element in, edit the WordPress content, and then just put your formidable ID. Now to find that, that's actually really easy. Let's go back to formidable. Let's go back to our uh, forms light. And right here is your formable short code. You just copy that, you go back to the page that you were editing, you find your, your section here, and you just paste it in and hit save. That's all there is to it. And your formable form, including your reCAPTCHA, will be right there for you. That's it. That's all there is to it in implementing it into Thrive Architect. Implementing it into Thrive Leads is exactly the same. And let me show you an example of some of the, the uh, things that you can do with Thrive Leads. So here we have right here, I just created a simple Thrive box. And once again, you can see I've dragged a WordPress element here in and I just added the WordPress content. There's my formidable short code. Just hit save and it's there. And what's really cool about this is that you can create a light box that brings up an embeddable form. Let's show you that on my homepage here. Going back to my homepage, I have this button. All I've done is told that button under animation and action that I want it to bring up a Thrive box and the Thrive box that I created with the embeddable form. So now if I preview this and I click on the button, you'll see that this Thrive box comes up with my embeddable form and somebody can send something to me directly through Formidable and I'll get it in my email and I can just respond right back to them. So that's one of the reasons I really like to use embeddable forms rather than forcing people to um, join an email list. I know a lot of people think that email lists should be your biggest priority. And while that's super important, if you're like me and your business is based on one-on-one -on -one client interactions, I want that person to be able to reach out to me and I want to minimize the steps and the friction. If someone just wants to ask a question or see if we're a good fit, I want to facilitate that as quickly as possible. So if you're interested in learning more about formidable forms and why I think it's so great, I highly recommend you check out my blog post. I'll link that down in the description of this video. And if you're watching this video right on convology.com, then go ahead and finish reading the rest of this blog post. There's a lot of great information there for you. And if you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to leave a comment on YouTube or in the blog post, and I'll be happy to answer those. Also, if you're interested in Thrive Leads or some of the things I've shown in this video, there'll be links in the description of the video as well as in the blog post. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you like these videos, please hit subscribe. That lets me know that you want me to create more tutorials or kind of informative videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.